Hello everyone, so now I'm going to discuss 2.1 equation for part C, which is solving logarithmic equation. Based on statement 2, we will use the properties of log, but the most used are change the base of log. For example, we have log base A to B, which is equals to log base C, B over log base C A. That is the type how we change the base of log. Another type is log base A B equals to 1 over log base B A. We are interchange the base. B express the log in index form. For example, we have a log form which is log base A to value B is equals to n which is the index it can be converted to index form b is equals to base a to the power of n based on statement 3 there are two methods in solving the log equation method 1 will be substitution method 2 equate the log with the same base do remember check whether both values satisfy the original equation or not which is check the validity. So now I'm going to discuss example 11. Find the value of x for the equation log base 2 x plus log base 2 x minus 7 which is equals to 3. So first I'm going to apply the rules number 1 which is log base 2 bracket x bracket x minus 7 equals to 3. Next step, I'm going to apply the rules number 2, which is converting from the log form to the indices form, where we will have x, x minus 7 equals to 2 to the power of 3. Then, I'm going to expand for the left-hand side and then rearrange. So, where we will have x squared minus 7x minus 8 equals to 0. Next, I'm going to factorize the situation where we will have x minus 8 x plus 1 equals to 0. So finally, we will have our answer x equals to 8 and x equals to negative 1. So do remember to check the validity. So as we all know, if you are going to substitute the value into a log form, the value for x must be greater than 0. So, based on the situation in here, meaning that we are going to accept x is equal to 8 is the answer, meaning valid. Because x equals to 8 is the positive value, but not for negative 1. So, here we are. And... Thanks for watching.